You might recognize these cute and clever animals from the Madagascar movies. But did you know we have lemurs right here in Durham? Today, we're taking you to the Duke Lemur Center for an up-close and cuddly look at one of the world's most interesting and endangered animals. Hi, welcome to Nick Knows. I'm Elias, a student at Durham Public Schools and part of the Environmental Science Summer Program at Duke University's Nicholas School. Today, we're visiting the Duke Lemur Center, located just outside Duke University, to learn more about this incredible species that is only found on the African island of Madagascar. But first, some fun facts. Did you know, lemurs are some of the most varied primates in the world. They have many sizes and colors. Some lemurs are as small as two and a half inches, and others can be up to two and a half feet tall. Lemurs actually don't have claws. They have fingernails, just like ours. And lemurs have two tongues, one tongue for eating and one tongue for grooming. Now, let's go inside the Duke Lemur Center to learn more about these wide-eyed and furry animals. Number one, lemurs are the most threatened group of mammals on Earth. Right now, there are about 100 species of lemurs, but most of these populations are threatened by deforestation, hunting, and climate change. In Madagascar, of the 101 lemur species, 22 are critically endangered, 48 are endangered, and 20 are vulnerable. Number two, women rule the lemur world. That's right, with lemurs, the females are dominant over the males. It's rare among mammals, but it's the rule with lemurs. And it's not uncommon to see a female lemur snatch a piece of fruit from a male. The female often gets her meal before the male. Number three. The Duke Lemur Center is working hard to protect the lemur population. Here in Durham, lemur center workers are focused on lemur conservation and conservation breeding. The center has cared for lemurs for more than 35 years, with many staff members traveling to Madagascar to begin building a program to advance animal husbandry, welfare, and breeding programs for the lemurs. Back in Durham, Sarah says programs like ESSP help educate people about what's being done to save the lemurs. To help protect lemurs, you can come for a tour at the Duke Lemur Center. Not only will you have a lot of fun and you'll learn a lot more about these amazing animals, but all of the revenue that we generate through our tour program actually goes right back to the lemurs. You can actually help fund their care, vet supplies, and housing here at the DLC, as well as our conservation work over in Madagascar. It's really important that we bring our ESSP students to the Lemur Center because when they come here, they're able to learn about animals in a different part of the world. Lemurs come from Madagascar and now the students are beginning to expand their horizons to environmental issues that aren't just local or in our community, in our state, or even our country, but that are now global. I would hope that they know um, if they're interested in going into a career path in zoology or any type of zookeeper type of programming, that they know where to go in terms of um, schools, that they know what programs to look for, they know what it's like to be a zookeeper every day, what the kind of job would look like. Here are some easy ways you can get involved with protecting lemurs at the Duke Lemur Center. Become a lemur scout. Sign up for one of their camps or workshops, or volunteer at the Lemur Center. Well, that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me at the Duke Lemur Center. Saving a species from far away Madagascar is happening right here in Durham, and you can be a part of it. I'm Elias, and be sure to watch the next episode of Nick Knows. Goodbye.